To test the motor with position regulation, open the scope and motion tabs. Open homing and select the best option for your needs. Here, we select current position. Enable the motor to set position of zero, and then disable the motor and open position tab. Set a position to target and enable the motor. As we are testing a pure inertia load, the load parameters have to be modified. Redo the homing sequence. Enable, disable, and go back to the position tab. Open the Advanced Motion Control section. Increase proportional gain to force the motor to follow the position trajectory target. Give a small amount of integral gain to allow precise positioning at the end of the movement. And give a very strong derivative gain to boost the motor when at startup. Enable the motor. Now the motor follows the exact position trajectory target. Okay, now we will stop the motor and do a new homing sequence. Go back to the position mode and clean the scope. To play more easily with position, let's reduce the stroke, remembering the encoder is 4096 pulses per turn. 10 motor shaft turns counterclockwise, for example, which is 10 times 4096 pulses. And 10 motor shaft turns clockwise. Enable the motor and watch as the motor moves precisely to the requested positions. You can chain different positions together and repeat the sequence. Here we set the software to do a half turn and back. This back and forth represents 360 different positions per minute. 